Oh, what's up everyone? Jack Frostminer here. Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. It's a very, very gloomy day. Yes, Mittens, I know it's it's very sad. It's all sorts of rainy outside, but that's fine because we are going to be working indoors today. We're going to be doing a ton of awesome stuff, so hopefully you guys are going to be pretty stoked with the things we have uh, to do. The first thing, well, I guess I'll just read through all the comments. Where are the main comments we did get last episode? Last episode, you guys left a ton of awesome feedback it was pretty funny to go through the comments after after falling into the lava so or no falling down and then having my stuff go into the lava so yeah that's that was that was sort of funny um but yeah i finished up the soul sand i just patched this whole thing and uh still waiting for the nether wart to grow properly i accidentally did have some uh some issues here i basically killed all the crops by hitting it with water so <laughs> i had to replant them all but they're all there so i just gotta wait for them to grow and i can replant them i guess there's someone over here already so we'll get this one. Oh, that's four. Oh, four and one. Not too bad. So we will quickly be able to start harvesting this for profit. Um, and over here, this is a new project. And I'm very, very excited to tell you guys what this one is. But before I do that, I want to get the first comment of day, uh, comment question of the day, or no, comment suggestion out of the way. And this first one is made, uh, this comment was from Nerd Kid, and he said, make an enchanted golden apple. And this had 57 thumbs up, so I think, I, I guess you guys want to see it. So I guess, I guess we'll do it. We will need, and for an enchanted golden apple, we're going to need quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of stuff. I think I'm going to need an apple if I don't have one of those already. So <laughs> maybe I have to go find an apple. I think I do. I think I do. I, okay, I do. I have to go find an apple, but I also am going to need, I think, like eight blocks of gold, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, eight blocks of gold. So we'll make eight blocks of gold. Oh my goodness, that's a ton. That is a whole lot of gold, but I do have some extra gold in these furnaces here, so it's not like I'm using all of it, but this is very, very wasteful. So now I'm going to have to go out in the rain. Now I'm going to have to go out in the rain and see if I can find myself an apple. But yeah, hopefully you guys are going to be excited for this. Um, I don't know exactly when I'm going to be needing this one, but we do have other plans for this episode, and, and I'm very excited. So you know what? I guess I'll just tell you guys now what we're going to do. I'm not, I'm not going to keep the suspense any longer. So. So, first things first, um, basically, we got a comment with 502 likes last episode. That is absolutely ridiculous. And the comment was from a user named Angela Cantu, and she was asking, oh, there's the apple. Lovely. And uh, she was asking, could I make a dog playground? And that's exactly what I was going to do. So the area I showed you guys inside of my house is actually where I'm going to make the dog playground. And I guess I'll explain it in just a second here. But first things first. We've got ourselves an apple to make. And also, I'll go ahead and let you guys know, the next thing I was planning on doing, uh, this was a comment from Minecraft PE Cheats. He said, try enchanting a book and then using it on armor or something like that. So, I thought, I have a few books, may as well enchant one. Now, I'm gonna just do it on a low level, just to see, but, uh, yeah. So, we'll try that out as well. But, uh, what I do need right now, of course, is, I guess I'll take this piece of dirt, but I also, I, I guess we'll just craft it, why not just craft the golden apple? This is the best golden apple there is. That is so much gold. So, so much gold. But it shall be done. Voila! Perfect. Look at this thing. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Just look at it. This is awesome. So, I will keep this for extreme circumstances. I'm not going to be using it anytime soon. But now I have a regular golden apple and an enchanted golden apple as well. So that is pretty fun stuff. Um, now what we got to do is we got to talk about this. This is the dog farm. So, uh, Angela Cantu, this is a lovely, lovely idea. Not a dog farm. I guess it's, I don't know. Basically, what I did in order to get this working was I carved out a huge part of this hallway and uh, off to the right side. So I'll have the nether wart off to this side and the dogs off to this side. And I basically just trailed dirt through this whole house, grew grass all the way over here until it got onto this block. And now I'm trying to grow grass along the floor to make it like an indoor paradise for these dogs so that's basically that that was really that's my whole idea behind this so um yeah I guess that's it I I don't, I don't really know what else to say <laughs> um yeah, so that's 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 really all I wanted to do here. But what I do want to do, um, I guess, is move the dogs in. I'm not sure. We could probably build some cool stuff. But first things first, I want to get a ton of dirt down on the floor here so that the dogs will have a good old grass bed to play around on later on. So I'm going to get this dirt down, 
and uh, hopefully that'll be what the dogs want. I mean, and, and you know what? I, what else I was planning on doing was making a fake sky, so I could use like uh, some to some type of hardened clay, and then dye it blue, and then make it into the sky, and then add a little bit of sun up there with some yellow clay. I think it'll be pretty fun. So we'll hopefully get this to work out. But first things first, I want to place all of this with dirt, and I'll do that uh, off camera. And a really good idea. I think I'm going to actually use some of this water. I want to make these dogs a little indoor pond so they can easily drink uh, drink some fresh water whenever they want to. I want to keep them well fed and well thirsted? I, that's not the word. I don't know what the word is. But yeah, so let's figure out where to put this pond. Well, I think this side. This side is probably where the pond should go. And of course, before I actually do that, I do want to make a infinite water source. So I'll do this really quick. I'll just make a little bit of a barrier here for that. And uh, we'll place this down here. Perfect. This should actually work out great. So I'll place that bucket down in that corner. And this one should make... It does. It does make the infinite water source awesome. So, yeah, we can take this, the, uh, these buckets and just make a cool little pond over here. But first things first, I gotta shape it up. So we'll see, we'll see how I want this to work. Um, probably can get rid of those two. Yeah, I like that. I like that. No, not that one. Not that one. I, I like, I like having that there. We'll bring this up this way. And, uh, is that good? Is that good right there? Or maybe just one more right here? I think that ought to work. So inside of this area is going to be, it's going to be the big old, big, it's going to be a big old pond for the dogs. And they'll have a little bit of running room over here. And I can always extend their, uh, their in, their play pen, I guess, farther back later on. You know, I'll just do this for now. It's a little bit of a big pond. So there we go. Now it's too symmetrical. So we'll bring this down then. How about that? We'll bring this down. And then we'll have this go, oh, you know what? I'll have it go under a little bit of a cave. Oh, this is going to be cool. Okay, so let's say maybe just break this up like this a little bit. Yeah, there we are. There we are. And then it'll go back into a little bit of a cave area. So that's cool. I like it. They'll go, the dogs will be able to go behind the waterfall. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> but this is pretty awesome. So I uh, will do that. And now, of course, we basically just have to fill in all of this water. Um, and, uh, and hopefully, hopefully, it's gonna look pretty cool when we do it. So let's place down this water here, and this water right here, and I think this should all just be an infinite water source now. I can just pick and, pick and choose from wherever, and hopefully it won't, uh, ruin anything. There we are. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff! Awesome! I think that's it. I do! Oh, okay. And I think we probably don't want to make this too symmetrical, so let's just take that out one more here. And we'll place that last water down. And that should be good. And then I think, uh, I think that's it. I think I like the way this looks. I really, really do. And then I'll place this, or I'll break that right there. And, um, you know what? That last one should go back. Let's put, let's put this last one back. Well, I guess I just gotta use cobble for now. But that should work! So there's, they're gonna have, the dogs are gonna have a little bit of like a cave over here. And then they'll have this big old pond that goes out to here. A ton of grass to run through. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. And when I extend it, I could probably push it back a little bit further. Um, we could, I guess, add, I don't know, we could, I don't know, add like a tree or something from to climb up on. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. But first things first, I can get rid of this water source now and fill out this side of the dog pen. And there's something I want to build on this side as well. So this is, I guess, the, uh, the, this will be the resident side. So what I'll do is I'll just basically make I'm gonna I'm gonna think I think what I want to do is make a tiered a tiered little uh a tiered little shelter for these dogs. So um that can go there. Right? That's gonna that's gonna look good. Maybe well, we'll do this, we'll do this, we'll do this. We'll put okay, I think I'm going overboard with the fences. <laughs> I think I'm going overboard with the fences. Let me try something else. Let me see. Oh, geez. Come on. Break one of these. Please break it. It's going to take so long. I'm not sure exactly how I want to do this, but I want to make it tiered so that there's multiple levels for these dogs to go up on. So maybe... Maybe this first level is uh, a fence... Two fences up, maybe? Yeah, we'll call it two fences up, and then the next level will just be one fence up. So hopefully you guys will understand what I'm saying. So this level will be like this. Like that. Then this level can be like this, and then I'm gonna have one more level that's just basically on the on like a little bit above the floor, and I will have to get rid of some of this stuff here, get rid of a little bit of that. So that should work out well. I like the way that looks. I like the way that looks. So um okay, 
Okay, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So we'll make these tiers now. Or, you know what? You know what? It's going to make more sense if I do this. It's going to fit better if I do this. So I'll place this here. And then I got to take down just two pieces of wood. And we should be good to go. So this is going to look nice. It's going to be, it's going to be like, you know how cats like climbing up on stuff and people have cat sets or cat, I don't know what you call them, but cat towers. It's, quote, it's sort of going to be like what it's for. It's, it's sort of going to be like that for these dogs. Now I'm not sure exactly what block I want to use. I guess I could, you know what, let's use some jungle wood. Why not? Let's do some jungle wood. So let's see, I can, I can use some jungle wood. I'll grab some of this jungle wood. I think that's just about it. And uh, we'll make some jungle wood planks out of this. So we should make, be able to make 12 planks. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I have no clue. Yeah, no, it will, it will. It's going to be four times three. It's going to be exactly enough, actually. So I want to basically do um something like this maybe on this level and then on this level i would like to do oh never mind it's and uh, these these platforms are bigger than i thought they were these platforms are bigger than i thought they were um we'll do this here well they're not uh, okay hold on i think i'm rethinking this i don't want it to be that big so i'll go get my i'll go get i'll go get i'll go get a fork now i'll go get myself a i'll go get myself a fork where is it where is my fork? I need a fork. Can we get one? Can we get one? Can we get one? I think I'm just going to make one. I think I'll just make one. Why not? I think it'll take a little bit less time. Well, why don't we go ahead and make ourselves a fork then? Let's do it. Where's the fork? There it is. There's our fork. Our iron axe fork. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So we use this fork, axe, whatever you call it, <laughs> to chop down all this wood. And I instead of making it three wide, I think I just want to make it two wide. Although maybe that's going to mess up the mm, you know what I, I don't know what to do i'm not sure what to do I, i'm kind of i'm kind of stuck whatever i guess i'll just do three I, I don't know i don't know i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what i'm doing here but we'll place that there that just looks too big doesn't it i think it is i think it is too big so we will call it off we'll just do two we'll just do two each so let's see let's how will we do this well I, I would have to bring this in. I would have to bring all of these, uh, all of these, these poles over here in a little bit. And, um, it should, I guess it'll connect, but it's whatever. It's whatever. So that's going to be like that. That'll be like that. And this will be like this. And, um, okay. I think that looks good. Um, and this will be three wide, so it's going to have to be uh, a little bit tighter here. So I guess I'll just place these here guess that works out i guess that works out and then you know what i'll just fill it all in just to make it look more uniform and now this will take up uh this will take up 12 so let's see if i do this right here i think this will work out so this is going to finally be the thing i was talking about this is the tiered uh little habitat shelter thingy for the dogs i don't even know if they can get up this but if they can hopefully they will hopefully they'll enjoy it but yeah there we go so it's going to be like a little bit of a tiered platform for the dogs to get up i'll replace these with stairs later on so it's easier for the dogs to climb it but that should be good for now and the grass can grow a little bit more so this it's actually looking pretty nice. It's looking pretty good. So while I'm while I'm out here, I think I'll bring Buddy and Frosty in, and then they, and they can say as they can stay in there and get used to the new place. Can we get a hit? Can we get a hit? Oh, look at this zombie's trying to come get me. Ah, uh, there we are, perfect shot. All right, so let's get um let's get Frosty to stand up here, and let's get Buddy to stand up here, and we'll bring them both inside. And um we can also make a cat play place in here as well if we get a few more cats. But uh, let's bring the dogs inside. I'll just shut the door. I think they should be able to find their way through. There they are. Perfect. So we'll bring the dogs in here. Come on down. Eerie, Frosty. I think they like it. I think they definitely like it. So we'll have them sit down here. And then we're just going to have to wait a little bit for the grass to grow. Now, what I do want to do is expand this place even more than what it already is. I think it's going to be pretty cool if we do that. Um, but I just really gotta expand, expand it out, expand it. Jeez, Louise, I can't speak. Expand it this way. Uh, plant some trees. Uh, make the sky look blue. I think it'll be pretty awesome. But hopefully the dogs will like it, and we'll probably have like five or six dogs in here. It's gonna be pretty awesome. So there we go with that. Now I need to grab a few things to eat really quick. I'm starting to get a little bit hungry here. Do I have any food? I have that golden apple. It's looking very appetizing, but I will pass on that. Is there anything in here? Anything in these uh, furnaces? Do I have anything to eat? Nothing to eat at all. Okay. Well, do I have anything in there? Do I have anything to eat? Do, 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 do.
do I have anything to eat? Well, I can cook up these, I can cook up these bits of chicken. So yeah, we'll do that. And I guess this next thing, what I guess we'll do last to finish off this episode is make some enchanted books. Now, I have some lapis, I have a few levels. Why not just go try and see what we can get? That was one of the most thumbs up comment section, uh, comment questions. It was like, and like 342 thumbs up, which is crazy. So it definitely shows the support and you guys definitely want to see this. I know these are going to be underwhelming books, but I may as well just try it out and see what we can get. So, um, what is this? An Unbreaking One book? Yeah, an Unbreaking One book. So that's pretty cool. We'll just do a few more here. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, can I not, can I not enchant another book? Is that just not going to happen? Is this not going to happen? Oh, can I? Can I now? I guess I can't. Not too sure what's going on. Oh, I need 10 levels for that? Hmm. Well, I need 10 levels for the first twin. Oh, really? Well, I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did it, guys. I enchanted a book. No, I guess we'll work on enchanting books later on. It's it's gonna be a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit before I get back up to level thirty. But once I do, I will definitely start enchanting more armor and more books, and it'll be very fun. But since I did say I was gonna enchant a book, I I thought I may as well just put a little a small little enchantment on one. So that should work out there. And that's basically it. I have a lot of work to do off camera. I may stream some of this over the weekend. Maybe Maybe on Monday. That sounds like a good time to stream. Maybe Monday. Uh, we'll figure it out. But if you guys want to stay up to date on streams or anything like that, follow me on Mob Crush and Twitter. I'll be able to tell you guys there. And if I do stream this uh, exact series on survival, I'll let you guys know on YouTube as well. But when we come back, this will probably be pushed out a little bit more and we can continue working on renovations. Just gotta wait for this grass to grow. It's a little bit painful to watch, but... It's necessary. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Let's Play. If you guys did enjoy, please go ahead and smash that like button. We're really only a few more episodes away from the download. Wait, are we one episode away? I don't know. Is it almost episode 30? Time flies. So, hey, download, download very, very soon. Come back next Tuesday for the next episode of Let's Play. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll talk to you all later. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.